Hi everyone, today is a bit special. This in front of me is the Honda ADV 150. Specifically, this is a 2021 Honda ADV 150 which I am looking forward to share with you what it's like to ride and all the cool things about it. This particular bike belongs to a family member of mine and it's been customized to be used for daily commutes. As you can see here, it has a few aftermarket accessories such as levers, bar ends, a top box at the back, aftermarket pillion footrest, side footmark protection and of course the biggest change is the windscreen. As you can see here externally this bike comes with a full fledge of LED headlights, LED turn signals and LED brake lights. It's pretty cool in terms of a scooter in 2022, especially at this price point. I love the way this bike looks, it's something unique, it redefines the definition of budget commuting by scooter. Doesn't mean that if you're on a scooter, you have to be riding on a cheap looking bike, you could be riding on something cool. Vespa has been filling up the space and Honda has therefore now brought something a little bit different compared to the Vespa. Now to find out how it rides, let's do less tearing and talking and let's swing a leg over it. As you can see here, this bike is keyless, so progressive. Turn on the switch at where otherwise the key fob would go in and you're greeted by a nice LCD back screen, white on black. It's pretty informative, but let's talk about that later. This looks familiar because I daily ride a Honda CB650R. The last time I rode a keyless bike was a Ducati Multistrada V4S. Like the Multistrada, it too has a small glove compartment to store small items like your phone or key. But unlike the Multistrada, it has an underseat storage space which you can see here fits a pretty decent sized helmet. Okay, it's on its double sided stand. Let's bring it down with a simple press of the left lever which is the rear brake and the power button there you go turns on the engine let's take this baby for a spin okay we're going to turn around this way and it has a pretty decent turning circle being a small scooter oh yeah i love this this is awesome twist and go that's it this beast is powered by a single cylinder 150 cc engine producing roughly around 14 horsepower that might not seem like a lot to you that is pretty decent for a small scooter as you can see here we are already going and i am not pushing this bike to its limits yet it's pretty decent and in front of me there's a windscreen you can, which you can adjust the height of and right now is on its highest uh, setting you can lower it slightly which I believe gives you a bit less wind protection So far this bike is pretty comfortable off the bat In terms of ergonomics This bike feels familiar because I am familiar with Riding Hondas with similar feeling and similar looking controls The switch gear feels like it's of decent quality This is somewhere that I am very familiar with these buttons that feels right to the touch. For a 150cc scooter at this price point, this bike feels like it's been made out of the really good stuff that the big bikes are made out of. <laughs> it looks good as well. I love the way it looks. This bike is more about the looks than the power figures and all the numbers. So let's talk a bit about the ergonomics, which is the riding position. I'm seated pretty neutral on this motorcycle right now with my foot flat on this bike and uh, my knees are 90 degrees in a relaxed position the seat is pretty high so you're in a pretty raised up position handlebars easy to reach I can easily maneuver around I'm not constricted or limited to any movement that I would like to make oh by the way the side mirrors are awesome the side mirrors are amazing a lot better than a lot of other more expensive bikes that I've been on. These side mirrors don't vibrate at all even though this bike is powered by a single cylinder and I can see so much out of them and so little of my own shoulders. Amazing! 
this is a very good place to be on especially if you're relying on your side mirrors a lot if you're commuting daily to work or in busy cities this these are good side mirrors and I love the way it looks complements the whole bike they don't just slap on some cheap old side mirrors they have these angular uh, motifs design around it which complements the whole facade of the motorcycle let's talk a bit about the seat the seat is pretty plush you, I could imagine being on this bike for a long time without even complaining because you know with a relaxed position comfortable seating this feels like a good place to be on Woo! this bike leans in pretty easily <laughs> okay the wind protection well you're not going too fast on this bike anyway because it's a 150 but there's pretty decent wind protection I believe with a height adjustable windscreen you can set the height as per to your uh, liking and if you want a bigger windscreen you could just replace with an aftermarket one and have it your way you can see here the dash displays everything pretty clearly white against black a lot of information shown there including the date the time the odometer speed in kilometers per hour and there's a little rev counter there as well the temperature of the outside and as well as the fuel gauge so and at the bottom of the screen here separate to it there's a bar with a bunch of indications and uh, what you can see here is that a with a circle around it which means that this bike is a little bit unique it comes with an idling stop feature this is an idling stop feature toggle over here you can turn it off you see the AD spirit can turn it on the A comes back on so what this does is that it's an auto start stop feature that this bike has where when you're sitting idling the bike just shuts off its engine in order to conserve fuel this bike doesn't consume much fuel anyways but it does that for you to conserve even more fuel that is an amazing feature that I have seen on much more in, in newer cars and this bike you just with a slight twist of the throttle it starts to get going again I'm loving this bike and uh, let's talk about its handling which is its suspension and tires this bike comes with standard scooter tires and in stock in order to complement this whole ADV look by the way you probably noticed that this bike looks super similar to its older brother which is an X ADV which is a 750 cc twin cylinder liquid cool pseudo scooter adventure motorcycle but this is the baby version of it and the looks complements its bigger brother this bike has the right looks and with that it comes with knobbly tires to complement the whole the whole facade all right okay here we are again at this park I'm gonna make a little u-turn in order to go up the same road again feet off the ground let's do a u-turn test oh no foot no foot oh that was a pretty tight turn that was pretty nimble awesome awesome bike okay let's talk about the suspension damping at the front is by 39 millimeter dual telescopic show of forks and as well as in the rear show a suspension on both sides and the gold at the rear with a show sticker on it is something quite special that you don't get on other scooters especially at this price range it looks a bit more premium compared to your other normal scooters that doesn't have show a suspension I love the way it looks and especially the way that it handles these little bumps it's not doing a perfect job it's not exactly Oh, leans quality but it does a pretty decent job at trying to iron out these little bumps it's not uncomfortable at all to ride this bike but then again it will have its own limitation it's not an adventure bike it just looks like an adventure bike let's talk a bit about the brakes front is a single disc with a dual piston caliper it's same similar with the rear and the braking power coming from a Honda CB 650R is quite a bit of a difference <laughs> to be honest but then again it is a 150 cc scooter so then again I have to set my own expectations in terms of its braking performance but what is this bike truly about so this is a bike 
not about its numbers or horsepower it's about how you want to present yourself you know bikes are bought because they are something that you need to use to work and is an extension of your own persona this bike it looks like an ADV but you know people like SUVs and crossovers and this this is that kind but in the bike world so what Honda has done is that they have taken an already proven recipe which is the Honda PCX and its vast experience which contributes to its reliability and trustworthiness and have placed a rather cool looking outfit over it which makes it into an ADV 150 this is therefore something really cool and because of that I love what they have done to it and this bike has therefore ticked a lot of boxes for those commuters and provide them with a rather cool commuter bike at a really good price point that presents to be an unbeatable combination for commuters who are looking for something reliable easy to maintain easy to own and cheap and looks cool at the same time and this is why this bike is something special it is therefore a lifestyle choice more than something that you would buy because you need just you just need a vehicle to go from point A to point B this is something cool from Honda and I love what they've done to it as you can see earlier from riding through town this bike handles bumps on the roads with no issues this is a simple commuting solution as you can see here I am zipping through town really easily and I'm loving it sometimes when I'm on my CB 650R I feel like I could just do something like this and have it as a daily commuter however there are limitations to it the suspension is not exactly the best it doesn't iron out the bumps like other substantial suspension does it therefore has its limitations and at that price point it is fair at higher speeds above 80 kmh reaching 100 it is getting reaching to the top speed which is limited to around 116 and therefore uh, it does struggle at that point so it is a 150 cc scooter after all it is not something that is of great performance at a good price at, at this price is a good price with its good looks with its style and how easy it is to ride and throw around for what it needs to do it is such an awesome awesome motorcycle that's it guys that's my review on the Honda ADV 150 I'd like to thank my family member personally for lending me his personal daily commuter motorcycle I'd love to review more humble size motorcycles not just large capacity motorcycles that I usually do and do let me know if you want to see more of this kind of content if you have any questions or comments, please write them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And with that, ride safe, stay safe and have a great day. Bye-bye.